Hey troops, Roxy here and welcome to Roxy Plays Games and welcome back to another episode of Farming Simulator 19. Before I get into the rest of the video I want to do my usual thank you, so thank you for everyone who has liked my previous videos and thank you for everyone who has subscribed to the channel. Right, we're going to do uh, chicken today, however, chickens are going to be really quick. Uh, there's not really much to do with them, so what I thought I would do is, I've already obviously on camera did the barley field I off camera I did wheat um, and I said I was going to do barley off camera but I'm actually going to do it on camera but I'm going to do it slightly different what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to have the worker uh, start doing some work while we do the chickens so it's kind of a bit of multitasking um, so it's really simple obviously you have to have the worker set as on now I generally have this off well, we have it off in multiplayer, because obviously it's multiplayer, um, we don't need workers. But when you're playing single player, or if you are doing a multiplayer map... Um, that truck <laughs> does like, look like it did a uh, bit of a jump then. Um, yeah, if you're on a multiplayer map, but you're on your own, um, you may want to have workers to just kind of help out. Uh, so I'm going to click B on my uh, joypad and then jump out. He will now go and do some harvesting um, of this uh, and it is at 100% fertilization um, as was the other two and what we need to do now is we need to jump in this trailer tractor trailer that was ready to collect the oats but what we're going to do is we're actually going to head over here and we're going to get some chickens yes so this is the chicken area uh, this is where they have their food uh, they'll make a mess along here which we're actually going to clean up with a broom mod um, so I'll show you that in a second um, and their food is wheat or barley so what we're going to do is we're going to click on this area here and I'm just going to buy uh, 10 oh yeah 10 of each we'll buy 10 of each shall we um so one two three four five my fact i'll do five of each what five one two three four five one two three four five one two three four five um and confirm and I'm not going to buy any more chickens, I will just let them do their own uh, reproduction. Um, but here's, this is what I like about this map, the chickens roam around in the yard. Obviously there's no collision so you can't kill them. But I, I just like the way that is, it, it's really cool. Uh, right, so we need wheat or barley, I'm not 100% sure how much um, it can hold. So we'll just fill a trailer up with uh, wheat. Matter of fact, uh, I have wrote this down and I'll just show you so we've got 10,031 litres of wheat 11,659 litres of barley um, and 86,132 litres of straw now obviously that straw has come from the two harvests um, and we actually got 41,470 litres of straw from the wheat and 44,662 litres from the barley so it does seem that we get uh, on that field we're getting more barley than wheat and we're getting more straw from the barley than the wheat so barley seems to be the better uh, choice of crop um, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take wheat out of here let me just have a quick look at the sale prices um, for wheat and barley um, currently wheat is the best for selling um, but it's pretty close it's pretty close so I'm actually going to take barley um, just need to get underneath here take the barley just fill the trailer up we won't need all of this I just can't, can't remember what the capacity is for the uh, chickens Oh, I did pick up the fuel Bowser and I parked it here, so that's all full, so I can fill up my uh, vehicles from there. 
and to feed these guys we need to reverse the trailer in um, to the food trough if I can manage to actually do some decent reverse <coughs> excuse me some decent reversing that would be helpful See, when I'm actually making a complete hash of this. And we should get a little pop-up. There we go. So we can unload that. Oh, a thousand litres. Okay. <laughs> right, I'll remember that for the future. So we shall dump this in here. And then this will then go round to the field so we can collect the oats from the harvester and what I probably should have done is I probably should have done the um, edges of the field so the worker wouldn't have any drama so I'll, I'll actually quickly do that because uh, there are a tr there's a tree in the way um, in a little while uh, just down here so he ends up missing a little bit so I'm going to just jump in here take over uh, take over this job I'm just going to go around the edge so then the worker won't have any issues with this um, this little patch here just let that dump out that tree is a little bit pro problematic for the worker so the worker just goes up and down, whereas I would go round and round in circles on this particular field anyway, not on, on, not on all fields. So all I'm going to do is I'm just going to do a couple of little snippets off this edge here. Just so that the worker won't have any problems on this side. little thing to be aware of uh, you'll notice I, I'm stopping at the edge it's not so much of a problem here but some fields if you've got two fields next to each other and one of the fields you don't own if it drops straw onto that field you don't own you can't pick it up um, and that's a real pain so obviously there's a delay from it picking it up to it then spitting it out so if you just carry on driving like this it's going to carry on spitting it out past where obviously you was. See how far I've gone there? So it's gone quite a distance past it so it's quite important that if you are going to drop straw um, and you've got two fields right next to each other that you um, stop before you go on to that opposite field if you don't own it obviously. If you own it it's not a problem. Right that should be fine for the worker so I'm just going to set him back up to go back up there jump back out I am going to grab this trailer because he he's not going to be full yet but he's going to be close to it so we'll go down here and then as he comes up because the pipes on this side we want to collect from this side so he will automatically stick his pipe out for me and then when we get to the edge here and I'm going to destroy a bit of crops here, but it's not a problem. Uh, he will wait until he has emptied his load into my trailer. And then I'll move out of the way and let him carry on. We're going to need to empty him at least one more time, if not two more times. Definitely one more time, but potentially two more times if we get more yield uh, than we have done for the wheat and barley. So that's him empty, so I'm just going to shuffle my way out, out, of, the, out of his path. Uh, we're then going to go back over to the chickens. Although the chickens are pretty much done. <laughs> There's nothing really to do here. But I'm just going to show you a mod that we have. Uh, right, so that's the chickens done. Uh, they're all working um, hard at producing eggs. We've got five of each. So I'm just going to leave this now. I'm not going to buy any chickens whatsoever. Um, and we'll just let them do some uh, reproducing, reproducing 
Um, at the moment, it's not showing you the rep reproduction rate and when the next animal is. It, it will update at some point. Sometimes it can take a little while to obviously register that we've got everything that we need. But that's all they need. Wheat or barley goes into this trough. Um, and as you can see, cleanliness is obviously 100% because we've only just put stuff down. But the mess will uh, produce here. Uh, there is a mod uh, that I have got. It's called the Broom. Um, I think it's in miscellaneous. I think it's here. Um, nope, it's not in there. Did I actually add it on this? Um... It's quite possible I haven't put it in yet. So, there's a, yeah, there's a mod called a, a broom. Um, and basically, you buy it at the shop, bring it down, um, and you can use the broom to clean up the mess. And the reason why we use the broom is it's just the easiest thing for this particular map. Uh, as with everything else, on normal maps anyway, um, where you plonk down a chicken coop, and with the likes of the sheep which will produce a mess in this box here. Uh, you can use the loading wagon that we suck up the straw with. You can use that to collect the mess that they make. But you can't do it with that chicken pen just because the, the object's in the way and it just won't, it won't pick it up. Um, I haven't tried a bucket on the front of a trailer and I haven't tried a conveyor belt um, just because I found the broom's the easiest thing to use. But um, I thought that I had had the broom, but for some reason it's not in uh, it's not in global company because it's not a global company thing. I thought it was in here, but obviously I haven't um, added it into my mods. No, okay, I'll put that in for next time. We don't need it now anyway, because obviously there's no mess to uh, to clean up. Right, so while the worker is doing his um, harvesting, um, I can start collecting this straw. So let's get this done. <coughs> Right, we're just going to go around. Just going to move this tra uh, tractor out of the way because he is in the way. Cool. Put you there, and let us go around. So I'm going to do basically every every other uh, line, which is just enough room for me to swing around like that. And then we'll do those two little lines that are going along the edge there. So I'll zip it around like this. And we'll go back up here. So we will need to empty this for sure. Um, and the work has missed out some patches. It, you know, it's not perfect by any means, but. Uh, for the likes of what I'm doing now, it just makes life a little bit easier so I can then just go around with the harvester and finish off any bits that he's missed at the end. But it means I can multitask, he's doing that uh, while I'm doing this. Right, let me get these couple of patches here, couple of lines. Zip around here. We've got carrots growing on that field currently. That is a mod that has been added in. Sorry, mate. Helper J is blocked by an object. Uh, no, that was me getting in, the, in, in his way. Alright. Couple of cup of herbal tea on the side. Just checking it wasn't cold. So 
but he's going to be getting full soon. We'll get a message saying when he's at 80%. So what I sh probably could have done is um, how I did it on the, the barley where I was going around in circles. I could have probably have done two edges all the way around because it seems that he's missing um, a couple of the edges where he's turning around. So if I'd have done those edges then he wouldn't have had any issue. Um, so I'm just going to jump in here and do a quick little bit of adjustment. Just going to zip round these bits here. Just give him a little bit of a helping hand. So yeah, if I'd have gone round once or twice around these edges like this, I think that would have um, definitely helped out with him uh, manoeuvring on the edges. I mean, they are good, but they're not perfect by any means. So obviously they'll have like a, a little hitbox if you want to call it that, an area that they can uh, go in and obviously an area that they can't go in. So I'm just going to go around this edge here, tidy this up and then we'll go back down the bottom and let him carry on. could probably actually empty this harvester now yeah I'll empty this harvester now and then that way I don't have to because um, it's going to be full fairly soon so let me just zip this up bomb down to the trailer unload and then we'll uh, let the worker carry on So yeah, so this episode was going to be uh, chickens, and as you've seen, chickens is really, really quick and easy. All you got to do is just throw a bit of barley down and obviously buy the chickens, and that's that done. Um, and then when it comes to cleaning the animals, uh, I'll obviously show you that probably when we get sheep. Um, by the time we get sheep, they should be dirty enough for me to actually clean them, and then I can show that on, on a video. Um, but I didn't want to do a completely separate video just on chickens because it would have been about th three minutes long if that And kind of pointless Right, so we'll get this guy set back up here He should straighten himself up There we go, and then I can jump out and then carry on with this dude And then we will um, have this all done. So what I will do is rather than just showing you the rest of this now, because this is all we've got to do, just collect this and then unload into the uh, silo. I shall um, bring you back when that is all done. Right, so the worker, the helper, has just finished. Uh, doing his job so I thought I'd bring you back now Helper A has completed their task thank you kindly so obviously if this was a multiplayer it would be so much uh, when I say multiplayer is if there was uh, if there was real people on here um, this would be so much easier because obviously they could then drive off unload into a trailer, the guy in the trailer can drive off and do his bits while I'm still doing what I'm doing. So I'm obviously having to jump back and forth in between each of the different vehicles and their different jobs. But having a helper uh, do the harvesting definitely helps out. Uh, and obviously going forwards that's what I'm going to be doing a lot of um, for these tutorials. I don't intend on, this isn't my main map, this isn't like my um, main goal or anything like that. This is literally, I'm just doing tutorials based on uh, stuff that we're doing in our multiplayer community map. 
Um, I would probably see me getting not bored completely, but after a while doing this on my own it would be a little bit lonely, and yeah, probably would probably would get bored. Uh, having people on the map, even if they're not on all of the time when you're on, but when they do come on here and there, and you have a little chat with them and a laugh and do bits and pieces together, it does make it a hell of a lot more interesting. Right, so let's unload this. And then we'll get this uh, cleaned up, repaired and parked up. Just see a little chicken or the uh, rooster in the uh, courtyard there. Bopping his head away. Right. I could probably actually do two things at once here. I reverse you in. Doesn't have to go all the way in. Go to there. Go around here. Click on here and repair. Yes, that's that done. Um, you definitely want to make sure that all of your machinery, especially things like harvesters and whatnot, um, but everything you want to keep at 100% or you know high because as they deteriorate, they actually lose performance. So tractors will lose power, harvesters will lose power, and um, it can hinder your progress. Uh, and clean is just a visual thing. Right, we'll get you parked up in here. Drop you off. So I don't need this tractor now. So I'm just going to stick him behind here. Turn the engine off. And then we'll zip over here, grab the harvester, and then we'll give them a clean and a repair and park up. We'll actually have a look, see what the condition is. So it's on 86%, yeah. It's not that bad actually, but we'll... Um, So give him a clean and a repair so that he's at 100% for when we next do our oh, when we do our next harvest. So that's this field all done and as you can see now it says fruit type oat harvested and 0% fertilized. So the next crops we're going to be doing on here will be things like sugar, um, not sugar beet, um, canola, sunflowers, and soybeans. Uh, they don't leave any uh, straw swath behind, so there'll be no uh, no requirement for using the trailer. Uh, the harvester's obviously got two bits to it, so it's going to have its header, which we just need to make sure that the whole harvester isn't in there. And then we can repair you. Yes. And then we can drive all the way in. And that should get the harvester. And then we can grab our holes, give it a quick clean down. And like I say, this is just a visual thing. It doesn't make any difference to the performance. But I personally just like to have clean vehicles when I'm doing doing bits and pieces. Obviously, they're going to get dirty, but keep on top of it. They look nice. Right, let's jump in here, get this part up. Stick it in the M bay. Right, then the final thing we need to do is go and get our 
trailer full of oats and then we can have a look see what the yield is from the um, oat field and we'll have a quick look at prices and see obviously prices fluctuate so sometimes it might be better to sell wheat sometimes it might be better to sell oats and sometimes it might be better to sell barley but if you've obviously got a big stockpile of it then you just wait for the price to be right uh, and then you sell sell high harvest low so to speak right I actually have no idea how much oats we have I'm gonna write that down do a little bit of calculation with what we already had um, as far as the straw is concerned so we'll get this part up Done, done. Let's go and jump on here. Let me get my pen. So we have got, oh, 6,898. Not much at all. 6, 8, 9, 8. So that's quite low. Right, so 1, 3, zero six six four and then if we take away we had forty four thousand six hundred and sixty two litres of straw from the barley and forty one thousand four hundred and seventy litres from the wheat gives us forty four thousand five hundred and thirty two so straw we got mo the most from the barley second was oats and the second was wheat as far as crops is concerned most was barley second was wheat and then third was oats and oats was considerably lower but let's just have a quick look at the price of what they sell for right so oats sells for considerably more compared to wheat and barley so there's probably a bit of a, a balance there of what's going on um, if I just do a very quick bit of mass on whatever's the best price. So 10,031 litres of wheat times um, 720 divided by 1,000 will give us 7,222 pounds. Let me just write that down. 7,222 for wheat. Um, barley would give us 11, 6, 5, 9 times currently the best price is 6, 4, 9 uh, will give us 7,566 so that's a little bit more and then the final one of 6 eight nine eight times and the best price is one thousand one hundred and eighty four one one eight four gives us eight thousand one hundred and sixty seven pounds so for the amount of crops that we have oats is going to give us the best price uh, followed by barley followed by wheat cool right so that's us all done for this episode obviously the the main emphasis was going to be chickens but because it was so short I thought I would do a harvest on the oats using the workers and then to show you what we have at the end um, we obviously use 1000 litres of barley to uh, feed the chickens so that would have been 11659 uh, but you can see what we got out of the three of them uh, so the next ones is going to be canola, sunflower and soybeans. They can all be used with the same harvester. But when it comes to corn, potato, sugar beet, sugar cane, uh, they will require a different machinery. Um, and in preparation of us getting sheep, 
we're going to need to get some equipment uh, for cutting the grass and um, wind roller in it and potentially turning it into hay for when we have cows so i'm going to call it end of an episode guys uh, thanks for watching um be good bellabot you're going to say goodbye bye <laughs> take care everyone